see this law is applicable let's say give let me give you an example h2 reacts with o2 to form let's say h2o2 hydrogen peroxide okay h2 reacts with carbon to form co uh ch4 okay and uh o2 reacts with carbon to form co2 fine now let's have a look at their masses 2 gram hydrogen reacting with 32 gram oxygen in second one i have to balance this 4 gram hydrogen reacting with 12 gram oxygen or i can write 2 gram hydrogen reacting with 6 gram carbon okay in the last one 32 gram carbon is reacting with 12 gram 32 gram oxygen reacting with 12 gram of carbon c now let's have a look at the law when two elements combine separately with the third element and form different type of molecules their their combining ratio is directly reciprocal reciprocated if they combine directly you see what does it say in equation 1 and equation 2 hydrogen is common oxygen is combining with hydrogen carbon is combining with hydrogen and now carbon is combining with oxygen and both the upper cases mass of hydrogen is fixed okay so see this ratio that is 32 is to just have a look what is the ratio Thirty-two is to six, or sixteen is to three. Fine. And here the ratio is thirty-two is to twelve, sixteen into six. Fine. Now, see what is the relation between two ratios. Sixteen. We can say thirteen by sixteen is equal to two into. Oh, uh, let me write two here. Is equal to six by sixteen. Or oh, let me write it once again. Six by sixteen is twice of three by sixteen. So this is the law. Either the two ratios would be same. or one would be integral multiple of other okay this is the law that when two elements combine uh, combine separately with the fixed mass of third element then their ratio would be either same or simple multiple of when they combine with one another i hope this was clear to you don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos of chemistry